In this instruction video, we will give another example on how to build a conceptual model. Let's consider the buffer hypothesis for sexual development in adolescence. This hypothesis proposes that the more sexualized media adolescents consume, the more advanced they will be in their sexual development. We start off with identifying the variables in this sentence. The first variable is sexualized media consumption, and the second variable is sexual development. So far, we have identified two variables which we can put in a box. Next, we can draw arrows that represent causal effects. In this example, sexualized media consumption has an effect on sexual development. We can draw an arrow pointing from sexual media consumption, the cause, to sexual development, the effect. We could also add signs to the effects in the conceptual model. In this example, sexualized media consumption leads to a more advanced sexual development. We can add a plus sign that represents this positive effect. Buffer hypothesis, however, also proposes that parents' instructive media discussion decreases the effect of sexualized media consumption on sexual development. We already identified two variables, namely sexualized media consumption and sexual development. We can see that these variables are also in the second sentence, and we can identify one additional variable, instructive media discussion. The conceptual model already consisted of two boxes, and now we can put the additional variable in a box. Just like before, we can draw arrows that represent causal effects. But in the second sentence, instructive media discussion has an effect on the effect of sexualized media consumption on sexual development. Thus, we should draw an arrow pointing from instructive media discussion, the cause, to the arrow between sexualized media consumption and sexual development. We could again add the signs to the effects in the conceptual model. We already identified the positive effect in the first sentence, but which sign should we use for the effect in the second sentence? Parents' instructive media discussion decreases the effect of sexualized media consumption on sexual development. In other words, high levels of instructive media discussion lead to smaller effects of sexualized media consumption on sexual development. To represent this negative effect by a minus sign. Recall that a variable like instructive media discussion is referred to as moderator variable. Again, we end up with an overview of the relationships between the variables.